Lance Lano. So basically, we want to welcome you guys to one of our first virtual self-defense classes for women, children, and elderly. I mean, you guys who have been supporting us know that we normally do it physically. We do it in person. We have the woman on one side and the instructor on the other side actually showing combat. But for this, we want to actually start kind of giving more information. Uh, we think that the best way to protect yourself is not to necessarily start with the the physical components, but to also give the knowledge so you understand just how to maneuver differently. So that way, if you do know how to defend yourself, the goal is to not even be in that position to do so, right? It's a last minute resort. It's a last resort. So we wanted to go over a few initiatives that we do, go over some tips, and pretty much give you guys some game on from our perspective, from a new era Las Vegas perspective, new era elite perspective, on some things you guys can do to protect yourself. So... Um, I'll just start off a little bit, just give you a little bit of background about uh, New Era Elite. So New Era Elite is the security force of all our New Era Nation chapters, uh, which are which is a, a network of 18 chapters, New Era Nation. Every chapter within the nation has a New Era Elite. Excuse me. So the goal of Elite is to be the vanguard in the community, protecting uh, women, children, and elderly. Obviously men, you know, we would look out for our brothers, but the main goal is to protect the most vulnerable senior citizens, women, and the children. And you said, one of the things that we do with Elite, we do a, a neighborhood patrol called Streets is Watching Community Patrol. For our chapter, we took a little hiatus. We haven't done one in uh, two months, but uh, prior to January, we did one from July all the way to December. And the goal was to go in some of the most turned up, you can use that phrase, communities, go into neighborhoods the police don't even want to go in. Hopefully to have a presence, to bring a presence, not to come in like the bad guy or the big bad wolf or the bully, but to just have a presence, right? It's been proven that crime is less likely to happen when there's people around, concerned citizens, who just keeping their eye out, right? So that was the goal of the patrol. Again, since then, we brought down crime by 14% in the historic west side, which is the 89106 area. So, you know, it, the patrols and initiatives that we're doing are working. And so now the goal is to get back to one of the first initiatives I want to tell you about, which is the whistle system. Well, basically, we believe in, honor, uh, in arming every woman, child, and elderly person with a whistle to basically ensure that any time they was in danger, it's better to overreact than not react. So if they felt like they was being followed or hands-on experience, they blow the whistle. Again, I don't mean the dude's going to start melting, you know, and fall back, but it's just all about getting some attention to that situation. Second initiative is the safe zone, where we uh, put a safe zone sticker in every black-owned business in the city of Las Vegas. So far, we're at 22nd, uh, 22 uh, safe zone locations. So again, the goal is to just give you guys some tips. I'm going to be really quick, and we're going to wrap this on up. So one of the tips I want to give you guys is that carjackings, uh, people taking your vehicles while you're getting out of the car or getting in them, or even while they park inside your home, is something that is really alarming right now in the city of Las Vegas. So one of our safety tips is that it's been shown that most carjackings happen at gas stations. And so you should not be pumping your gas while your keys is in the car or your car is running and you're not in front of the vehicle or even sitting in your car with the doors unlocked while the, while the, while the pump is uh, like on the automatic lock. I think the best thing to do is be alert. Number one, don't go to the gas station as a woman by yourself. That to me is just not, or to us, is just not the most wisest thing to do. And if you do happen to go, bring somebody with you. Maybe pay at the pump. There's an option to pay at the pump. I would not go inside because now you make yourself more vulnerable. Second tip, the, the, the headset, the earbuds, that may not be the best move, right? That's not the best thing to be able to have your hearing impaired while you're out in public. And so those are some of the things I think can really save some lives when, uh, to get off the, the carjacking, walking down the street. Same thing. They say put an earbud in, earbud out. I say have no headset in, right? You know, just so you can be fully alert. You don't want to be listening. If you got to, if you walking, you should be on a mission. I don't got time to listen to no music, none of that. Talk on the phone. I'm focused. When you're walking down the street, you don't want to walk on the side of the street where the vehicles can pull up beside you. You want to always be on the side of the street where the vehicle has to come past you. And so, again, these are some tips that I really think will save some lives. So what we're asking is that you do two things. You understand that, again, don't go to the gas station at night by yourself if you have to go with somebody. 
Don't leave your car keys in the car with the vehicle running without the car being occupied. Do not sit in the car for any period of time without your doors being locked. Whenever I get in the vehicle, I lock the doors. Listen, it's not about being scary or none of that. It's about protecting and preserving your life. Maybe you don't bring children with you when you go to the gas station in general, right? It's just certain tips that make you more vulnerable, right, when it's certain things that can be eliminated or alleviated. Uh, I'm, I don't want to push people to have different views, but for those that do believe in exercising the amendment to bear arms, that may be an option you can take as well to protect your life and go through the proper steps and proper precautions to make sure you can do that properly and legally. And so, again, we got to make sure that we understand there's a war. Women are being kidnapped.